In the rapidly evolving field of electromagnetic radiation research and safety, a fundamental shift is desperately needed. We are at a critical juncture where the potential to innovate and create safer technologies is immense, yet it is being stymied by outdated views and a lack of recognition of the dangers posed by non-thermal exposures to electromagnetic fields. This is not just a scientific or technological issue, it is a deeply personal mission born from the most profound loss a parent can experience. The catalyst for my work in EMR safety was the loss of my daughter, Angel Lee Coates, who was born with a neural tube defect. Neural tube defects are severe malformations of the brain and spine that occur when the embryonic neural tube fails to close properly by the 28th day after conception. Despite her brave fight, Angel did not survive. This loss left a void that no parent should ever have to experience, and it set me on a path to understand the factors that could have contributed to such a tragedy. Neural tube defects like anencephaly occur at a critical time during embryonic development, specifically during the third week of pregnancy. This is when the neural tube, the precursor to the central nervous system, closes. The orchestration of cellular activities during this period is guided by bioelectric potentials that ensure each cell works toward the collective goal of forming the neural tube correctly. Any disruption to these bioelectric signals can derail this process, leading to devastating outcomes like neural tube defects. What makes this stage of pregnancy particularly sensitive is that it often occurs before many women even realize they are pregnant. The responsibility of keeping this process on track is immense, and it is largely driven by the electrical and chemical environments that surround the developing embryo. The Role of Bioelectric Potentials and Environmental Influences Bioelectric potentials are crucial in guiding developmental processes. These potentials help orchestrate the complex choreography of cells as they divide, differentiate, and organize into the tissues and organs that form a new being. During the third week of pregnancy, when the neural tube is closing, these bioelectric signals must be precise and uninterrupted. However, environmental factors such as exposure to electromagnetic fields or EMFs can disrupt these delicate processes. One study that played a pivotal role in the founding of RF Safe, conducted by J. M. Farrell, M. Barber, D. Krauss, and T. A. Litovitz, explored the effects of low frequency electromagnetic fields on the enzyme ornithine decarboxylase, or ODC, in developing chicken embryos. The study found that exposure to weak magnetic fields significantly altered ODC activity, which is critical during early development stages. More importantly, the study revealed that such exposure during neurulation, the stage when the neural tube closes, could lead to a threefold increase in the rate of neural tube abnormalities. The Urgency of Recognizing Non-Thermal Exposures The findings of this study resonated deeply with my own experience. My daughter's mother had been exposed to significant electromagnetic radiation levels while working with powerful radio equipment during her pregnancy. The study's results mirrored the devastating outcome that I had personally experienced, making it clear that there was an urgent need to understand and mitigate the risks associated with EMF exposure during pregnancy. Despite the mounting evidence, the broader scientific and regulatory communities have been slow to recognize the dangers posed by non-thermal EMF exposures. This reluctance to acknowledge the risks is not only hindering the development of safer technologies but also putting countless lives at risk. We cannot make the breakthroughs needed to protect future generations until we comprehend the full spectrum of risks associated with EMF exposure, beyond just the thermal effects. The Genesis Framework, Bridging Physics and Biology In my quest to better understand and mitigate the effects of EM radiation, I developed the Genesis Framework a conceptual model that seeks to unify the principles of physics with the intricate processes of biological development. This framework provides a deeper understanding of how environmental EM fields interact with bioelectric potentials, which are crucial during critical developmental windows, such as the third week of pregnancy. The Genesis framework is not just a scientific model, it is a personal crusade. It aims to develop tools that can predict and mitigate disruptions in bioelectric signaling caused by environmental factors, including EMFs. By simulating how these forces interact on a quantum level and across dimensions, we could potentially develop technologies that not only protect, 
but also optimize embryonic development against various environmental challenges. Moving forward, a call to action. The journey of RF Safe is not just about advancing technology, it is about fostering a safer world where progress does not come at the cost of health and well being. The loss of my daughter, occurring at a developmental stage governed by bioelectric potentials, underscores the urgent need for awareness and action against the potential risks of EMF exposure. It is imperative that we shift our views on non-thermal exposures and recognize the broader implications of EMF on health especially during critical periods of development. This is not just about reducing exposure, it is about understanding the risks so that we can innovate responsibly and create a future where technology and health coexist in harmony. RF Safe is dedicated to leading the charge in EMF research and solutions, championing a healthier, safer future for all. As we continue to explore the effects of electromagnetic radiation, our mission remains clear, to educate, protect, and innovate for a healthier future. Join us in this critical conversation, and together, we can work towards a future where technology serves humanity without compromising our health.